Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in the Middle East tonight for a days-long trip aimed at reducing tension in the region. It comes as Israel launches more attacks in central and southern Gaza. Alex Hogan is in Tel Aviv with details. Israeli forces striking as many as 100 targets in Gaza over the past day. In a plan released this week, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant says troops will eventually switch to a scaled-down approach in northern Gaza. But he says the war will continue until Hamas is eliminated and all hostages are released. Now, families of those hostages are returning to the site of a music festival where many were killed or kidnapped on October 7th. I'm still stuck on October 7th, maybe the 8th. I can't switch days, I cannot turn the page, I can't open the new year. And on Israel's northern border, troops launched attacks on Hezbollah's infrastructure and military outpost in Lebanon. On Friday, Hezbollah's leader promised revenge for the killing of a top Hamas official that the militant group blames on an Israeli drone strike. We cannot remain silent about a violation this serious because this means that all of Lebanon, the cities and the villages will become exposed. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in the Middle East on Friday for a multinational trip aimed at calming tensions in the region. The visit coming as Iran proxies step up attacks on U.S. forces. We have to go to the source to recognize that they're directing, they're supporting this. They are conducting a war in the Middle East to drive the United States out and destroy Israel. State Department says that Blinken's trip will focus on how to protect civilians here in Israel as well as in Gaza. In Tel Aviv, Israel, Alex Hogan, Fox 32, Chicago.